Hey guys, in a previous video, we took a look at how to install Plex on Open Media Vault 5. And in this video, we're going to expand the functionality of our new media server a little bit by adding Qubit Torrent to the mix. Now, that being said, there's a really good chance this video is going to be demonetized by YouTube because anytime I make a video like this, they demonetize it. So uh, with all that being said, uh, there will be some links in the description where you can help support the channel if you feel so inclined. Um, but let's go ahead and jump over to my desktop and get Qubit Torrent installed on our Open Media Vault server. Okay guys, to get started, we're going to use uh, the Linux server slash Qubit Torrent uh, Docker Compose here on hub.docker.com. I will have all of this in the description and or the blog post uh, for this video. So be sure to check down below the video to get more information about this installation process. So uh, we're going to use this information um, in, uh, well, Open Media Vault, but more specifically Portainer and Docker. So uh, if you're not sure how to do this, go watch my previous videos so that you can learn how to get Open Media Vault 5 set up with Docker and Portainer. So let's go ahead and jump into here. This is Portainer, so I'm just going to go ahead and get logged in. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and dismiss that. I'm going to say not now. Um, so normally, uh, in, in a previous video, I showed how to install Plex, and we actually did that by going into here and going into containers. Uh, here you can see my Plex container, uh, and, and we could we could go that same route uh, of going in and filling in the blanks, but uh, Qubit Torrent in this case is actually super, super easy to install using something in here called Stacks. So that's what we're gonna do in this version. Uh, we're gonna click over here on Stacks on the left, and then we're going to go to Add Stack. So we're just gonna call this uh, Qubit Torrent, and then we're gonna grab this information right here. I uh, mean, I should just grab all of that and come back over here. And then we're just gonna paste that in there and we're almost done. Uh, believe it or not, we are almost done. So uh, we're just gonna go through and edit some of these lines. Um, lines one, two, three, four, five and six are all good. So is seven really. Number eight and nine we're going to change. Uh, if you don't know what your PUID and PGID is, uh, what we're gonna do to get that is we're going to go over here to PuTTY. Uh, we're gonna type in our IP address for our server. It's uh, eight and then we're gonna go ahead. Oops. Uh, if you get this, go ahead and say yes. Uh, and then drag that into the right window there. And we're gonna say we're gonna log in as root and we're gonna type in our password. And so basically what we want is the uh, PG or PUID and PGID of the admin user account on your system here. So for me, my username is admin. So I'm just gonna type in ID, oops, ID space admin. And right here you can see my UID, which is PUID is 998 and my GID or PGID is 100. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here and change this to 998 and I change that to 100. So that's all we've got to do for lines eight and nine for your time zone. Um, uh, I'm, a, I'm close to Denver, so I'm gonna type in America slash Denver. Uh, that's all good. So if you wanted to, you could change this web UI port. If you've already got something on port 8080, you can change this, uh, but I'm just gonna leave it right there for now. Now, the only other two lines we have to change are the volumes. Uh, volumes are just gonna be basically where on uh, your server uh, are these folders going to be located. So uh, again, if you watched my Plex video, um, you'll know that we can come over to here. We can go over here to uh, shared folders. Uh, we can come up and go to columns and absolute path, and then we'll drag this over. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. This is a configuration folder I made so that I can put all of my different application configuration folders and files in it. So I'm just going to right click I'm going to go to inspect. I'm just going to copy that. I'm just I just double clicked in there to highlight it and then I press control C to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to come back over to here. I'm going to paste this in here, but then I'm just going to trail that with uh, Qubit Torrent. Uh, that way it'll put it in that folder in the configuration. Uh, so that way we'll have uh, a folder for Plex and a folder for Qubit Torrent. All of our configuration files will be easy to, to, to find that way. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is actually create a folder for your downloads. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to, again, we're gonna start in the shared folders. That's where we are right now. So I'm just gonna create a folder called uh, Torrents, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select my 250 gig drive. I'm gonna say everybody gets read and write access and I'll click save. 
And then one last thing, we'll go over here to SMB CIFS. We'll go to shares. Uh, you can ignore that yellow bar for right now. Uh, so next we're gonna do is click add. We're gonna add a share. Uh, we're gonna go over here to where it says torrents. Uh, we're not gonna leave a comment because I don't need to, but we're gonna say only guests for that public setting there. And we'll click save. And now that we've got both of those done, we can go ahead and click this apply button and say yes. We'll give this just a second to load up um, and then we'll be just about done here. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna go back over to this shared folders here. And what I wanna do again, when I grab that, the information for that configuration folder, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna click, then I'm gonna right click. I'll go to inspect. And then I'm just gonna double click right inside there and press control C to get the information I need there. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that right in there. And I'm gonna say downloads. And that's it. That's all we have to do here. We wanna make sure that everything else here looks good. It does. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead down here and click on deploy the stack. And this will take maybe a minute or so to go through its process and do its thing. Of course, this will, uh, the speed of this will depend greatly on your hardware, uh, the speed of your system. So the faster your system, the faster this should go theoretically. Okay, so now you can see that we've got uh, this stack here. Now, if we go over to containers, you can see that we've got Qubit Torrent running here, so that's good. Let's go ahead and click on this logs uh, icon right here and go ahead and check just to make sure everything is working appropriately. So what we should be able to do then is copy our user, our IP address and paste that in there and go to, oops, port 8080. Now, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want to see here. So our username is admin and our password is admin admin. Go ahead and log in. And now you are all set to use uh, this as your personal peer-to-peer -peer torrent tracking uh, application on your uh, Open Media Vault Portainer Docker server. Okay, so just to make sure that uh, this is actually working, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna download an ISO from Ubuntu. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, alternative downloads because we actually want uh, to download, let's download this desktop uh, long-term support. We're gonna go ahead and download uh, that. That is our torrent file. So now we can come back over here, go to file, add torrent file, choose files. Uh, right there is the file I just downloaded. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on Upload Torrent. And we'll give this just a second to get started. And there we go. Now we're downloading, we're connected to 62 people. We've got a download speed of 11 and a half, 15.2, 19 megabits per second. So there we go. Uh, Qubit Torrent is installed and operating just like we want it to do. Okay, so as that wrapped up, I got to thinking, well, now, now how do we access that file? And that's easy. What we're gonna do is open up our, uh, our my PC or our file explorer here. We're gonna do backslash, backslash. And then we're gonna type in our IP address, which for me is uh, 1.8 and we'll press enter. And then right here, we've got our torrents folder. We've got a downloads folder and there is our ISO. So I can go ahead and minimize this. And if I wanted to just drag it over uh, to my desktop, it's saying, hey, this might be harmful. I'm not worried about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Everything's transferring over perfectly and everything is good to go. Okay guys, so there you go. There's how to install Qubit Torrent on Open Media Vault using stacks. Um, I love using stacks. They're super easy to do. Uh, almost in my opinion, easier than going about it the container way. Um, but that kind of varies from application to application. So uh, again, if you found this video helpful, it'd be amazing if you guys would do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Again, good chance this video got demonetized. So there will be some links in the description where you can go and support the channel if you feel so inclined. Mind. And with all that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.